home, after home, after home. Blazers bypassing one side of the street, devastating the other. This was Christy Dashke's home, which she shared with her husband, Jake. Only the clothesline untouched by the blaze, the peg still hanging in the scorched air. If there's one thing you could go in there and get, what would it be? Um, that you wish it survived? It would be um, my photos. Um, photos from the computer, whether on the computer or the laptop or whatever, wherever I could have got them from. Um, my photos, yeah. Photos of what? Um, a honeymoon, the wedding, my wedding album, photos of me as a baby, as Jake as a baby. Um, my whole 12 years with Jake, um, we don't have a record of any photos to show my children of, you know, me growing up with, with their dad. In the true Aussie way, her family and friends are taking a break after spending the day clearing up. They say they will rebuild. Uh, Backburning is used to actually remove the fuel away. Across the valley, um, so firefighter Tim Parsley says even those on the fire front lines have been affected. His sister lost her house too. Yeah, she lost it. She lost everything. They fed, her son managed to find her wedding ring in the rubble um, and a few other things, but everything else was gone. So, but, you know, the thing I said to my sister was, you got out with your life and, and we're sitting here having a conversation about it and that's all that matters. This valley is filled with smoke. Fighters working down on the ground unseen to stop the advance of the blaze. This is what firefighters have been doing across this region, lighting controlled fires to contain or at least slow down the spread of these blazes. And it's all to protect a community of 1,500 people who live just up that way. Despite a massive mobilization of firefighters, officials say that on Wednesday the weather could fuel the fires even more, as hotter temperatures and even stronger winds are forecast. We'll just give it our best shot. Uh, I've been doing this for more than 33 years and this is the most difficult fire scenario I've faced. And if it is as bad as they warn, scenes like this could be repeated many times over. Robin Kerno, CNN, the Blue Mountains, Australia.